Hey everybody, this is Garden Scar and Jen from Garden and Jen's Journey. We're trying something new today based on recommendations of quite a few of uh, chicken raisers, very experienced chicken raisers. Uh, we brought the girls and little Bob out to the coop uh, to get acclimated to the temperatures out here. We're going to see how they do. Um, recommendation is just to leave them out here now. Um, there's 16 of them and they should be just fine. Most of them have quite a few feathers except for their heads. Um, but that's why we got that heat lamp right there. Where they can get up there and cuddle underneath it if need be. They can all fit on that platform there. And then the water's right there as well so it doesn't freeze. But otherwise, they have this whole coop in here to spread out and explore. We have roosting poles over here. See all those poles there. So all 16 should be able to find a spot to roost. And so just watching them, they're still not sure what's going on. I see little Bob Bob down the bottom there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. See him right there? Just a little guy at the very bottom. Oh, he just stuck back in. So, they're still not quite sure. We'll check on them in about an hour or so and see how they're doing. The one gal up there, I put her down a couple times, but she knows where the heat is, and so she's excited about that. So again, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. First time raising chicks, and um, just doing experiments with them as far as acclimating them to the natural environment that they'll be in. So I'll keep you guys updated. Bye bye. Looks like they're getting a little more used to their surroundings and right there in the front there that's little Bob. So, yep, so far, so good. It's only 30 degrees out here today, and the wind is blowing. But uh, the heat lamp's fine. It's actually not that chilly in the coop because it's protecting from the wind, but it is still a little cold out here. But as you can tell, the girls are, they're all right. And even Bob, who has no feathers. Little Bob, he's so gorgeous, just as a chick. He's so cute. I can't get enough of his cuteness. But soon he'll be a handsome young man and he'll just, he'll be even more pretty than the hens. Of course he has to be flashy because he is a male with all these ladies. But anyways, um, so yep, so far so good. We'll just keep watching him. I'm just enjoying watching him out here getting their space and not being cooped up in the brooder box anymore. So we'll see how far they get from this here to this whole coop they got to uh, to venture out in. So we'll see. All right, guys. Update again will be soon. Bye bye. All right, this is day two, and we're gonna go out and see if the chickens made it through the night. I did check on them at um, around midnight, and they're fine. Just peek through the, the window here, which is awesome that we have a window that we can look into. So I'm going to take a peek over here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Oh, I hear talking. Look, there they are. There's some up there getting a drink, and there's some down there. We're actually gonna go inside. So, I love this double door system. I think um, I told you guys before, but this is the outer door for the camper and then the inner door. And we have this outer door here to keep the chickens in. And then when they're old enough, the inner door has the hole in it here so they can actually come down the uh, ramp when it's time and be in their run. So we don't have the run done yet. All right, so here we go. It looks like we're good. Put the 
put the screen down here so they don't get out. All right. Let's see what we got. Yep, all 16 are up and about. So yeah, they did just fine overnight. Cool beans. All right, everybody. This is the update I promised I'd give you because I was wondering too. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.